Welcome back to another episode of the United States Air Force DRL Flight School, and we're going to talk about a couple different settings that impact the way you fly. So camera tilt is really important, not just in sim flying, but also in real life flying. So because when the drone is flying forward, it has to tilt, right? Each of your four motors is independent, so it's just pushing forward. We on purpose, angle the camera on the drone up so that when we tilt forward, we're looking more or less level to where we want to go. So we'll go take a look at the camera angle setting and kind of show you what kind of a difference it can make. So if we go into the camera tilt, I'm just going to put it all the way to zero. So I'm essentially looking straight horizontal level when the drone is flying level. So now if I take off, everything is at the horizon, right? It's normal. But as soon as I give it any kind of forward momentum, I already can't see the sky in front of me. And I'm not even tilted more than 30, 35 degrees. So if I try to fly a course, I'm not going to be able to see what's in front of me. So now if we crank the camera tilt to the opposite end, we're not going to see the ground at all when we take off. So I'm going to launch in the air and now I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, and I'm going to start turning forward. So now that the horizon's level, I'm at full throttle right now and I'm still descending. So I'm going to crash into the ground. I like to split the difference and say about 50 degrees. That's where I feel comfortable flying. I can see a, a little bit less of the ground when I'm flying straight and level, but it allows me to fly, I think, more at the edge of what the drone can do. So another camera setting that you have the ability to change is field of view. And you can go all the way out to 140 degrees or all the way into 90 degrees. I fly around a 120, 125 degree field of view in the game because I want more situational awareness. So if you look at what my view looks like at 125 degrees, I can see a lot more of what's going on around me. But if I change this and I set it to 90 degrees, it's a much narrower field of view and I can see that obstacle in front of me a lot a lot bigger before I get to it, but I can't see to my right or left. But if I crank it all the way to the other end and I get too much, now the obstacles in the distance are way too small. So like if you look, there's a gate at the end of this that I, you know, finally now I can actually see it. So you, you have to find a balance between, you know, how much information do you want and make a decision for what you like to fly best. Another important setting that you can change is your rates. Rates essentially are just controlling how fast the drone rotates relative to where your stick is. So as I move my stick, you can see the graph here on the screen. As I move the stick to the right for the roll axis, you can see that it follows this curve. And that curve basically helps you set, do I want the edge of the curve to be really, really snappy? Or do I want it to be kind of smooth? Or do I want it to be really linear? This green line here with the throttle is very linear, but the curve on the roll and pitch and yaw rates are all a little bit less than linear. That means that it's a little bit more smooth in the middle and a little bit faster on the outside. So in order to give you a demonstration of that, I'm going to crank the uh, pitch expo up to make it have a much deeper belly and then I'm going to leave the roll expo the same. So as I roll the drone, and you can see that it's not spinning that fast and I keep going out and it's continuing to in increase in rate, but it's not increasing dramatically. So now if I push this, the pitch forward, it's following roughly the same speed, but now as soon as I get here to like 60, the curve starts to go much more dramatically and the drone starts to just go like mad. <laughs> so what you are doing is picking how that curve works based on how you want to fly. So some pilots like to have a really big exponential curve so that it smooths out their stick inputs in the middle. Others prefer to have it linear where as soon as they move the stick, the drone is responding as fast as possible. For me, I like to have a little bit of a curve, but relatively linear. I want it to respond as fast as I tell it to. You do not have to have your pitch and roll rates the same. You can link or unlink them however you prefer. I prefer to have them be the same. And then I usually have my yaw a little bit more linear and a little bit slower because I fly more with pitch and roll than I do with yaw. So I hope that breaking down some of these different user controlled settings in the sim allow you to improve the way you fly. Thanks for watching and aim high.